What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my free-to-play account and Castle Crisis has arrived today So I'm gonna get right into Ember Army, but once again, I wanted to remind you guys do not sleep on the new event Arid Runes. I'm not joking, man. The rewards are freaking ridiculous I went ahead and saved up three days worth of rewards from Arid Runes and just look what I got I mean, yeah, the one time I didn't win, I think it timed out or something. And, I mean, goodness gracious, dude. This is a lot of shards, no doubt. We have 11 Mastery Essence 1s. We got some Gelatinous Champions plus 300 Fame. Not so good on the Fame, but still, I am collecting Rockno Soul Stones, and I'm now at 40. So, still got 160 to go, quite the ways, but still worth running Arid Runes. No doubt about that. So, let's see. What do we get for experience here? 177,000 worth of three days of air drones. Let's be serious, man. That's pretty huge for free to play. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and send this a theme. Now that we got 309,000 shards on the free to play, that is huge, man. So big. Goodness gracious. Sorry. Right. I'm going to go ahead and send a theme to 9 of 10 right quick. I don't care if it's a little bit above 9 of 10. It doesn't matter because I plan on maxing out a theme next, and then I think I'm going to go. I don't really know where I'm going to go next on maxing out. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get into Arid Runes now. I mean, into uh, Ember Army now. Let's check the setup right quick. Make sure we're looking good. We got Anubis with Bulwark and Axe of Strife. That is a good setup. We got... Uh, you pretty much want Revive on every single hero for uh, Ember Army. No doubt about that. And nice to have a pet on every single hero as well. So, we're looking... Ooh, actually, I don't think I want my Pumpkin Duke and Lightning Rock, though. Let me go ahead and check that out. Let's see here. Take Pete. I use uh, Pumpkin Duke and Lightning Rock for... Let me see. Do we have Gunslinger? What about Sasquatch? Eh, do we want him to have more life or more damage? The same with Athene. Do we want Athene in a defensive... In defensive game mode? Or... Yeah, I guess we'll just have her in offensive game mode. Whatever. All right, yeah. So, we should be good for... Ember Army now. Alright, let's see what we got going down here. We got Anubis. He looks good. Gunslinger looks good. Phantom King looks good. Only 7 of 10 on the Phantom King, though. That's kind of weak. We got 5 of 5 Revite, which is not that great of a talent for Pumpkin Duke, especially for this game mode. Revive with Goblet. So, yeah, we're looking good. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, no doubt. No. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up, I think, the first until we get to uh, level 10 at least. What is my record score on the free to play? I think my highest score is. I don't know, but I'm about to beat it. Whatever my highest score is, I'm definitely going to beat it because now I have a double evolved Athene. And I didn't have a double evolved Athene last time. And Athene is a mind step for this game mode. All right, tore up through the first boss. Pretty easy peasy. Don't let these Articus crack on you. But again, it doesn't really matter because it's only wave eight. As long as an Atlanta core doesn't crack early stages, if your team's good enough, you should be okay. All right, so we'll slow down on this boss right here. I guess I'll go to two X because there's no reason to have it like at one speed. We're gonna. Oh man, we finished the boss off before wave twelve came. That's kind of lame, but whatever. Do not let these articles crack on us. Come on, finish them off. That article just tore up all kinds of stuff. Come on, man. Doolum's cracking all. We got PD for days. We are at crazy fast speed right now. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. With PD and a theme cracks, you got to remember, a theme gives that attack speed as well. So, my goodness, does it get kind of crazy. All right. Nice. This boss looks like it's going to live a little bit longer, which should give us time to clear out most of this. Get those Dread Drakes out of the way. We're at wave 16. Definitely some self-destruct just owned us up right there. We need to proc the Pumpkin Dukes on the Skull Knights to keep them coming. Give us some love. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, if we could have cleared this wave right here with Skull Knight, that would have been huge. But, of course, we didn't. Come on, finish up those Articas. Those are bad. Look at the screen right there. Those Articas can be trouble. Wave 19, that seems pretty good for the free-to-play, though. No doubt. We're looking good. Come on, finish up this boss right here. Oh, get the Pumpkin Duke procs on that boss. No way. Let's go, baby. That's looking real good. If we can finish up Wave 22. Okay. Okay, finish up Wave 22 on the... Oh, Wave 20. Oh, Wave 23. 408,000 damage, man. 408,000 damage. I think that might be higher than the highest I've ever got on my 
pay to play. Not 100% sure, but 400,000 damage? Yeah. I mean, not 400,000, 400 million. I'm tripping. 400 million damage? Yeah, that's probably higher. What's the highest damage? Rank 1 is 600 million. Wow. Oh, Mutilator Joe! What's up, Anthonis? What's up, guys? Nice. You guys are just storming the leaderboard. Princess Jen, I see you. Look at you guys. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, let's go ahead and fight up Ember Army again. I can't believe we got 400,000. That's actually pretty good on the free-to-play. I know for a fact that's my highest. I don't really know what my highest is, but I know it's nowhere near 400,000. No doubt about that. Hopefully we can beat that. That'd be pretty sick. We did have some pretty good procs there, no doubt. That Phantom King does work, man. You see Phantom King? That's why I threw Phantom King in there. I'm like, should I use Santa Boom or should I use Phantom King? And I'm like, you know what? Santa Boom's proc does do more damage, no doubt about that, but... When it comes down to it, man, Phantom King's just like a freaking machine gun, dude. Ah, get on, son. What Phantom King's like. Alright. Wave 10. Easy peasy. Spawned right on top of us. That's pretty bad, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and slow it down to uh, 2x. Let's see what we got going down here. Hopefully we can get some PD cracks off the Skull Knight. That's what you kind of dream of. And see, look at the Phantom King, man. He really is. He's like a machine gun, even with scatter. And that's pretty big for these bosses. I mean, and the Articas too, man. If you can scatter up all those Articas and don't allow any of that trash to proc. Oh, look at that Sasquatch proc right there. With the Athene cleaning up. Let's go with Athene Sasquatch combo. Wave 15. So this is the boss. Hopefully we can kill all these Articas out of the way. We're looking all right. Yeah, we're looking okay. Where's our pumpkin dude? Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, Oh my, look at the Phantom <laughs> Let's go, baby. Wave 17. Come on, Sprocker spot. Oh, that's a good spawn right next to... Ooh, that, that Artica proc sucked a big one, man. Oh, man, that Artica proc just owned the thing. Oh, man. That's how it's going to end it for us. Oh, well, though. 400 million total damage. That's pretty beast. I suppose I'll go ahead and bring out the, my main account and see what we can do on that. I don't have a base setup. Actually, my free-to-play setup is better than my main account because my main account just has six hero bases just uh, sat wherever on the map. But, yeah, I'm going to use definitely a good combo. I need to get Serena out there. I tried to record last week's or, yeah, not last week's. A couple weeks ago's Ember Army and ended up glitching up or something. I don't know what happened. But anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to tune in to uh, my, I'm going to have a big live stream soon. I'm not exactly sure when that live stream is going to be because I asked uh, I asked the IGG when they have the next Hero Collector and they told me that it was on April 25th, Thursday. So I was like, okay, so maybe it's on April 25th, Wednesday. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll let you guys know whenever Hero Collector comes out on iOS, that's when my live stream's going to be. But anyway, guys, I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.